Hey y'all, it's Labrisco with My Eclectic Treasures. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the single crochet. I showed you how to do the basic chain in a previous video, so I am going to speed through this part. I am using 11 chains for this example. Once you have your chain ready, you are going to insert your hook into the second chain from the hook. You're going to grab your yarn, pull it through, and then you will have two loops on your hook, and then you're going to grab your yarn and pull through both of those loops. That is a single crochet that you've just made, and you're just going to continue that motion. You're going to take your hook and place it through the next chain, and when you start off with your chain, uh, you're, you're going to just be putting your hook through the chain at some point, at some place. Um, it doesn't really matter if you put it through the top or the bottom uh, whenever you're chaining. Um, I just uh, naturally just put it through the top of the chain. You'll see what I'm talking about whenever you're chaining or whenever you're doing your single crochet. Um, but you just place your hook through the chain pull some yarn onto your hook, pull it through, and that is a single crochet that is made. And just keep working down that chain that you've made. Just place your hook through the chain. I've got it slowed down so you can see what I'm doing. Grab the yarn, pull it back through the loop, and then grab the yarn again and pull it through the two loops that are going to be on your hook and just continue doing that until you get to the end of that chain Once you reach the end of your chain with your first row of single crochet, you are going to want to turn your work. And the first thing that you do is chain one when you get to the end of your first row or any row of single crochet. Um, you're going to chain one and then you're going to turn your work as you can see how I did here. And um, if you'll notice at the top of your work, you'll notice that you have made V's. Um, and I've showed you here the V's that you have created by um, doing your single crochet. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be inserting your hook under those V's for a regular single crochet. And again, I've got it slowed down so you can see what I'm doing. I'm placing my hook underneath the V and I'm grabbing my yarn, pulling it through, and I've got two loops on my yarn now. And then I'm grabbing some more yarn and pulling it through those two loops. And you've made another single crochet. And this is how you continue your single crochet after that initial chain. Um, it's a little different than, your, when, than when you're uh, crocheting into your chain. Now you're actually crocheting into a stitch, into another single crochet stitch, and so you're going to be placing your hook under that V um, this time instead of just uh, sticking your hook into that initial chain. So it is a little different here, so don't let that confuse you. But just keep placing your hook underneath that V, pulling that yarn through, and um, and making that single crochet. And I'm just gonna, uh, I've got it s slowed down for you so you can see what I'm doing here.
Now the last stitch of your single crochet is going to be a little tricky because it's going to be kind of hard to see, but you just have to find that V at the end and um, place your hook through and grab your yarn and uh, pull it through to make that last single crochet. And then of course you chain again to be able to turn your work. You see how I'm turning my work now to go back across the, um, the single crochet row that we have created and you just do the same thing over and over placing your hook under the v grabbing your yarn grabbing uh pulling it through grabbing more yarn pulling it through the two loops on your hook and you've created a single crochet and just keep continuing that motion until uh you've got it down I'm just going to continue on with one last row just to give you a little more of a visual of what the single crochet row looks like. Um, and I will explain that the reason why you chain at the end is so that your work um, ends up uh, turning out straight because if you uh, do not chain at the end uh, your work will end up being slanted so do make sure that you make that chain at the end of each of your rows um, I hope this has been informative I hope that I have helped you learn how to do the single crochet and I hope that you will follow along for more of my crochet tutorials